Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm Cindy and we're here with another feeding frenzy for the four spiritual laws of prosperity by Edwin Gaines, a simple guide to unlimited abundance. He's got it. Tonight we are talking about goals. goals. What is a goal? It is where I'm going. It's nice. the end of the road. It's the point where I'm shooting. Okay. Um, it is something that I have decided I want to do. So she spends a lot of time in this chapter talking about how to figure out what we want. And for me, that was one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. Because I didn't know what I want. I was taught most of my life, or let me rephrase that. Most of my life I was told, you can't do that. You can't have that. Mm -hmm. You'll never have enough money to have that. I mean, that wasn't specific words, but that's the way I was made to feel. Mm -hmm. Was that, okay, I have to give up on a lot of my dreams because it's just not practical. Mm -hmm. Or it's just not um, something that I could ever do. Because who am I? You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I, and I think most people are. I don't. It wasn't just me specifically, but I think a lot of us are taught to. Well, you can't be president. You know, it takes somebody really smart, special to be president. You know, and I think mm -hmm. we're talked out of our dreams, and not necessarily with words. No, no. But just I did. I believe. lived in a house where they did <coughs> dream. Right. They literally were surviving from day to day. They had an alcohol addiction, and so it was just getting through the day. Mm -hmm. So setting goals and making goals was a new concept mm -hmm. for me the mm -hmm. first time that we that I was introduced to this. Really? Because I was never planned, I never planned for anything more than the next day. And I'd say to say, but that was the majority of my childhood. I was surviving from day to day. So I didn't um, dream of what do I want to do when I grow up. You know, that was a new concept for me. Wow. So when I was asked, what do you want to do with your life? I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm so used to thinking about just this day, thinking about, <coughs> never mind a lifetime. So when I started thinking about lifetime, then it began to be a, just decide what you want to do and stick with that. Mm. And it took me a while to understand that what I decide today isn't necessarily what I'm going to do with the rest of mm. this life. It can work for me for a while, mm -hmm. and then I have then to choose. Can I can cheat. I can change it. I can choose mm -hmm. something different later. So um, I learned that uh, you know it, that a goal doesn't necessarily have to be a lifetime, and this is what I'm going to do, and I can never stray from it, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know that they can go grow and change just like I do. Mm -hmm. So I've learned quite a bit about it, and I'm excited about it. Good, good. So you <laughs> set goals now. I do, but I still fall back on the daily. Mm. Now, I do, um, we do have several dream boards and that mm -hmm. kind of thing, and that helps me keep looking further ahead. Yeah. But as far as specific dates and specific mm, no. written out, no. No, no. I don't no. I've done well, it I shot have. in the dark. Have you ever? Yes, I have. Okay. I have, and, and I've done it several, work? and it worked really, really well. I was surprised. So why don't you do it now? Out of curiosity. Um, so if it worked so I well, be, I just haven't set my sights out to do it yet. Mm -hmm. I just, that's me. I got lazy with I, Okay, yeah, I got lazy. I'm just gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I got lazy. Um, yeah. Well, you know, for me, it was more of I got what I want, and then I got comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. until I get uncomfortable enough, I don't set another. And that's why I love being comfortable, but I don't and, hate it. Well, <laughs> because yeah. because I, it doesn't it doesn't motivate me to grow and right. be comfortable. Right. So I need to well, be reminded to step outside. And I don't know about you, but I am much more comfortable dreaming vaguely. Yeah. Because then if it doesn't because, happen, <laughs> well, because then I can always say, well, I didn't want that. Either. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. Plus two, when you get clear, then that takes action. Yeah. Yeah. Really and I got to do something. And especially if I set a date. Oh, now I really got to do something, you know? Uh -huh. But I have noticed, depending on how bad I want it, I'll do it. So, you know, I've been Like when I went, when I got my new car. Yeah. I really wanted the yeah. new car, so I was willing to take the steps necessary. Right. So I've noticed that I've taken a lot of goal setting workshops, and I've, oh my gosh, I've been coached like crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And so every time they say, okay, I want you to set a goal. And so I set out this goal, and I make it very specific, and I tell exactly what I want, and it rarely ever, I say rarely ever, which is true, rarely ever happens. 
because, and, you know, and I know the whole time, it's not what I really want. Mm. But I don't know what I really want. Mm. So and you're so just setting like, the goal to appease. I'm setting the goal to, to get through the class uh -huh. or to get through the workshop uh -huh. or whatever it is, uh -huh. you know, and I'll set it for something ridiculous like, well, I want to make this much money in a month. Well, okay, but I'm not going to do anything to make yeah. that much money in a month, yeah. you know, and I know that. And so it's it's almost defeating it before I ever get started because mm -hmm. it's not what I really want. Mm -hmm. For me, the only goals that have ever really worked were the ones that I was so bound and determined to get to that I, it may have been so big there was no way I could do it in my mind mm -hmm. that God would have to step in and do it, and he did, but only because I wanted it so bad. I was willing to do almost anything to get there. And that's only happened a couple of times in my life. But those mm -hmm. are the only real mm -hmm. goals. And I'm talking big goals. Yeah, I've had a lot of work goals, small goals that yeah. I've reached. But that's the only time the big goals mm -hmm. have really happened. Mm -hmm. You know, and specifically, I think about when I wanted to stay home with the kids. And, man, I really had to work my butt off to get there. But I had a huge goal that I thought was impossible. Looking at the debt I had when I started, I thought there is no way I can ever do this. But I'm going to get... As close as I can or I'm gonna it take as long as I have to you know but mm -hmm. my goal is to have to be home by the time the second kid is born and I was but it would have never happened if God and the universe hadn't jumped in behind me mm -hmm. and it would have mm -hmm. never happened if I hadn't taken that first step well and if you didn't have the passion for it and keep right. the passion up for it right and decide I wanted it so bad I want this and if I hadn't made and the I list think, of exactly what that looked like I think that's exactly what it takes. It takes just as much passion from us as we are expecting from the universe. Yes. We forget that we get back the energy we mm. put into yeah. it. Yeah, good point. And so I know <laughs> that the reason I don't reach my goals is because I'm not putting the energy into it. I'm expecting the universe mm -hmm. to do it, but I'm not Ooh, investing the You know what this energy. reminds me of? Is a lot of times... When we talk about clients and we say, well, I'm not going to work on their project until they get on fire for it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to work on their website until they uh, know what they want, mm -hmm. until they get mm -hmm. involved with it. Well, that's mm -hmm. exactly what the universe does. Yeah. Right? yeah. If they're not going to work on it, I'm not going to work on it. <laughs> if they're not going to put some time and effort into it, then it's a waste of my time. And that's exactly what the universe is exactly. saying to us. Yeah. So if you're not willing okay. to put any time into it, it, I'm not willing to put any time. Just as soon as you're ready, I'll jump in there, but right. I'm just waiting on you. Yeah, right. exactly. It's almost the like the universe is saying. saying, do you want this or not? Uh -huh. You know, I'm not going to waste my time if you don't really want well, How many times have we said that to a client? Boy, that turned around a bit as we asked. But it's true. I mean, but it is we true. don't want it bad enough to do whatever it takes it to is get true. it. We're not going to do it. I, many times I've said there are a lot of people who want to do what I do and that, to be home and to set my own hours and be my mm -hmm. own boss. Mm -hmm. But they're not willing to do the work I did to get exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. And until we're willing to do the work it takes to get what we want, then the universe is not going to jump in behind mm -hmm. us and push us screaming mm -hmm. and, you know, fighting mm -hmm. to not get there. Right. We right. have to be willing to do the work right. and we have to be willing to want it bad enough she to do it. She also talks about what she has. You've got to be willing to give some stuff up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. you got to be really willing to get rid of what you don't want. And sometimes I've been in that same uh, situation where that lady, went, well, not exactly the same, but I've been in jobs that I absolutely hated, but afraid to let go of yes. it because it's my income. Yes. You know, when knowing, I can remember sitting there knowing, okay, I could probably make twice as much money out on my own, but this is safe and this is secure, mm -hmm. when in actuality, working for somebody else was the least secure thing I could have done. If mm -hmm. I have more clients, then they all have to fire me to get fired right. or, you know, right. laid off or whatever. Right. You know, we just don't think it's rationally. a false sense of security. Yes, yeah. because we give somebody else the reins over our life. Now, I am not saying that working for someone else is wrong. No, not at all. It may be exactly what you need, but when you take the reins of your own life, then only you have control over mm -hmm. it. You know, mm -hmm. it was the same for me when I got when I let go of my post office job. Mm -hmm. It was very secure, as secure as it could be. Right. But you and I both know. The post office itself was one. Okay, mm -hmm. well, my job was too. It was still, I had given the reins over to someone else. Mm -hmm. They said how much I made. They mm -hmm. said when I had to right. be there. They said when I could leave and couldn't leave. Right. I decided I don't want this anymore. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to work when it's cold outside, when it's hot outside, and I want to do something else where I can control it. Right. More. But it was hard to let go. But I had so. to let go of that illusion of security. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Before I could do it. Right. And I also had to let go of what I thought I couldn't do. Because as soon as I believe I can, then I can. Right. As soon as I believe, uh-uh, there's no way I'm going to do this. Well, guess what? That's going to come true. Right. Mm -hmm. So just like Edwin was talking about, I had to <coughs> let go of not only that false illusion, but I also had to believe I could. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can make a go of this. I can do this. Right. Right. You have to believe in yourself. Yep. You so she's talking about setting aside our limitations. Right. And then and opening ourselves up to possibilities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we defeat ourselves before we ever get started because we, we think, well, that'll never happen. Mm -hmm. Or I'm not smart enough to do that. Or I don't know enough to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and we got to put all that aside and jump in. Anyway. Well, you also have to open up to the possibility that it's going to come another way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to look like a paycheck that comes every week or every two right. weeks or once a month. It can look another way. Right. And I had to let go. I mean, shakily at first, I mean, with trembling hands and sweat in the armpits, mm -hmm. you know, I let go of this is how it has to right. look like. But let me tell you what, this last year and a half that I've been doing this has been happier. It's been exactly what we built it to be. Mm -hmm. I've been more stable <clears throat> than I ever was there. Mm. I, I don't have any regrets from doing it. Yeah. Uh, it's also, though, to be fair, it's been a kind of caused us to have a lot of trust in God. Yes. Because if you don't have a paycheck coming every two weeks or every month mm -hmm. or well, regularly, then mm -hmm. you have to really You trust. have to really, we've, got, we've had to live on faith. Yeah. True, truly yeah. live on faith. Like jumping off the deep end. And, and then, sometimes and, that causes panic moments. Uh, you know? And we just, we tell each other, we remind each other who um, we are. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah. By the way. You're welcome. Um, because it still comes up, mm -hmm. even though I feel like our trust and our faith um, of knowing that God is our source is really strong. Mm -hmm. It still gets tested. Oh, yeah. It still Definitely. gets tested. More so. More so, I think, mm -hmm. than um, when we're not really trying to push through it. Mm -hmm. um, and more so than when we're not just trusting God completely. Because, you know, a lot of times we're out there on that cliff without a safety net. And we have to really trust. Whereas well, people that have the safety nets, you know, they trust, but they know they're going to be caught. Our safety net is different. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. different. It's not one that we can see. Mm -hmm. With that job that I had, it was a safety net that came every two weeks. Right. But I do remember in the last probably five years that I was there, there were several weeks where... None of us got a paycheck mm. because there was a glitch in the system. Mm. Well, that's all it took, and the safety net was gone. You yeah. know, right? We we're all expecting that thing to come, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. So it went just as quickly. Wow! You know, so it was an illusion of safety mm -hmm. because one glitch, and it was gone. Wow. You know, we all ended up waiting another two weeks. Wow! It was that easy. Wow. You know, so I know, I know. Looking back at it now, that was an illusion of safety. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's scary. Okay, so uh, then she talks about the 21-day challenge of no criticizing, no complaining, and no gossiping. So are you willing to try that? Yeah, I'm willing to try it. I'm, I'm willing to do it. I'm going to, I'm really going to put my best foot forward, and I'll do the 21 okay. days. Me too. Um, if I catch you criticizing, then I'll start over. I will. I'm going to start over. Okay. But... I really don't want to anymore, and I really strive not to. Mm -hmm. I, there are times when I absolutely fall victim, and it's real easy just in a casual conversation to jump into that again. But it's not where I want to be. Yeah. It's not yeah, where I, I want to be. That. So, yeah, I'm willing to do this. It's 21 days with no gossiping, which is not hard for me. I don't No, I don't gossip. gossip. I don't think. But I'm going to catch you. But complaining. I'm be watching. And criticizing. Ooh, yeah. Those I are, do a lot of that, Those are difficult. Mm -hmm. Those are difficult, especially after a day at the gym. Mm -hmm. mm, I hadn't thought of that. Or with the ex. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, well, but that's where, that's really where I need the most work. Because I really I'm looking forward really to the energy anymore. and power that she says that we're going to have yes. after that. Yes. So 21 days is not a long time <laughs> until we have to start over several 21 times. days is 
you know, a challenge about the affirmations. Right. We're going to do the, well, we've already started the 21-day affirmations, and we have a um, thing on the web now. So that the, they can, on the website. Yeah. Where so you can, can sign up. Sign that. up for that, and you'll get an email three times a day with mm -hmm. some of our favorite affirmations. And hopefully, eventually, I'll get it to where you can enter your own. Um, but we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. So right now, we get you get ours. Which are bad ones. Really good. I've really enjoyed it. I've yeah, done yeah. it for the last three or four days. And yes. Um, testing it out, and it works well. Does it? And I like them. I've been saying them out loud mm -hmm. three times a day, mm -hmm. and it works well. Mm -hmm. And so now we'll add to that no complaining, criticizing, or gossiping. For 20 days. I'm going to be watching you. Same here. <laughs> You're not getting off the hook here. <laughs> All right. Anything else about goals before tomorrow's? I'm excited. Yeah. I me really too. I, it gave me a new motivation to set more goals. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to set some goals and really work at them this time. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll talk about Pull some things, some dreams out of the air and make them specific. Yes. And not just, oh, someday I want to do this. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do and this is when I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for that. Yes. We've already got a couple of goals in mind, though. We do. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Shrink, shrink.